Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Again, my name is Sean Dunster, and I'm the Operations Manager for Church Streaming, and I uh, welcome you this morning to our webinar discussing embed codes on your streaming account. And um, as in previous uh, webinars, we are focusing just on one aspect of uh, your streaming account to help you understand functions and features that are available to you. So first, um, as you can see on the main screen here, this is usually the screen that you will see um, uh, when you first log into your account. It comes to your main dashboard. This is your view. And to get to the section that we want to talk about, which is embed codes, that would go under streaming and then go to settings. So you go to settings here. And then when it opens up here from settings, you will look, you have the media settings, appearance settings, and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, uh, equipment settings and embed settings. That's where we want to go to embed settings. Embed settings are the embed codes either for app embeds or website embeds that you're gonna use uh, for placing uh, your live or your archive player into a web page. So in here, we have two options. We have the live and then we the archive. So the difference here, this is your live embed code right here. And this is what it would look like on your web page under this configuration. This is not necessarily the way yours is gonna look. This is just a mock-up to kind of show you what it should look like. Um, so you've got a countdown across the top. You've got your main live player right here, and then you've got information down here. Those are the options that you have under that particular configuration. Now you can use the check mark marks over here and you say, okay, I don't want the description. I want the countdown, but I don't want the description. So I've unchecked that. Now, if you look here, you have just the top uh, countdown bar and the live player, but the description is gone. And then I can say, I just want the live player. And what this will look like, so I've got rid of the countdown. There's no countdown at the top. There's no description at the bottom. It's just a live player. This is the configuration that you want to go with if you're using the church online platform. So if you happen to be using that and you are embedding the live player in their, uh, their shell for church online, you want to use this, this uh, embed code for this player right here because then it doesn't give you the other information on here because you have that already available through church online. So this is the code that you want right here for a live embed without the description, without the countdown, you want this one right here. And then to get this, all you do is just copy. You hit copy and then that's gonna copy and then you would paste that into the church online uh, page that you have. Um, so to go back to this though, if I wanted the description and I'm gonna use the countdown, okay. In the countdown, I have some options. You notice this popped up when I hit countdown right here. I checked that and turned it on. I have the options here of making that a dark feature. So this is the dark gray, or I can make it light. And it just makes that a lighter gray up top to make it stand out. So that's what that option is on there, dark or light on the, on the, the highlights for that. Um, so you grab the embed code that, that is appropriate for what you have selected here. And there are two types of embed codes. You have the iframe and you have the JavaScript. Um, Different web platforms and web pages um, prefer different types of embed codes. So I would refer to what your web platform is recommending that they want to use in there and then choose the right code for that. So you can, you have the JavaScript or you have the iframe, depending on which one it is. And then you just hit the copy button and that'll copy that over for you. That is the live embed code. Now the archive embed code is different archives are anything that you have already streamed whether it's uh, live or uh, the simulated live something you've played back as live um, that you want to show up on an archive page that people could look at uh, after the fact so you could go into it later but this would be the code for that and the way that looks here under the grid view is just like this you just get gets the player here and then you've got lined out in a grid view it would give the sermon title if you had a series assigned to it who the speaker is all that and usually you can filter them by date so you can look at um, uh, newest to oldest you can look by um, who is uh, the speaker um, you could go by the title so you can filter a lot of different things uh, by that and that's the grid view 
you could go by series view. And a lot of churches like to have series. And uh, in series, you may be talking for a whole month on one particular topic. So if you wanted to have your archives set up as a series view, you have your player up here, but then you have sermon series one, sermon series two. So if you were doing a series, and right now my church uh, is doing a series on financial awareness. So in the financial awareness, it would show up here. And then all the different services that were under the series of financial awareness would show up down here. So that way they're all grouped together, uh, makes it really nice for somebody who wants to look at a particular series. Um, and then you can still filter appropriately, but that's the series view that you would have for an archive player. So you have the series view and you have the grid view. Um, currently, and some of you may have already experienced this, but um, having the archive player and the live player on the same web page is causing some conflict between the two codes. And so you may see some flashing or some issues with um, one of the players showing up appropriately. So right now we have recommended do not have these both on the same page. Uh, put your archive, pay, uh, archive player on a different web page uh, on a secondary one from the where you have your live player. Our development team is working on a workaround to fix that so that those codes don't come in conflict with each other. But for now, um, you know, put those on different pages if you're having trouble where it's showing some flashing or some issues with the player showing up properly. So that's just an FYI uh, if you are experiencing that at all. The app embeds are as if you have a custom built app uh, and you need to embed um, the, uh, the player, the live player into your app. So this is what the codes that you would pick for that. So if you have uh, an Apple app, or if you have, um, again, Roku, if you have Subsplash, something like that that is needs a, an M3U8 code, this is where you would find those codes to use. So again, if you have a developer that's working on those apps for you, and they ask for what is the, the code for your live stream, this is where you'd come to grab those. Okay, so I've talked about that. And in the information in here, when we looked at the preview and got information, you had a sermon title, speaker name, the date, the passage, things like that, and the description. Um, so if I'm going to look at how I set up an event, I want to go in here and I want to make sure that that information is in there. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a new streaming event. Here we go. And on the new streaming event, I'm going to make sure that I give it a title. So if I said it was financial awareness, okay, financial awareness is the title, being a good steward. So that is the name of the service. And the preacher I'm gonna say is, uh, let's see here, add new. I'm gonna put myself, there we go. And yes, they are the same person. There we go. So the preacher is me. The series is financial awareness. So remember when I said that in there, you can, in your archive play, you can um, categorize things by series. So this is where you'd put that information in here is if you wanted a financial awareness, being a good steward, that is the particular topic that we're preaching on today. Financial awareness is the series keywords. So keywords associated with this finances, money, being a good steward. Okay, so that's what I put in here. That's searchable terms within your archives, but you can do the same ones down here for your SEO. SEO is your search engine optimization. And in that, that's what the um, web page or the um, web search engines and uh, social media and such will look for, uh, for that. So if I wanna put the same things down here, I'll put it in there, but also I'm gonna put, you know, maybe my church name, um, my church. So if I have my church name, whatever it is, uh, I would put that in here. Okay, passages. So now I'm going to say, um, I'm going to choose the uh, English st uh, standard version. Um, we only have right now these four options because those are the ones we have the rights to, but we are getting additional options. Um, we are uh, negotiating rights to uh, different versions of the Bible. So we will be adding to this here. 
Um, so if I want to go with ESV and let's go to, um, okay. Uh, I'm just going to pick something here. I'm going to go to Acts and chapter five, verse two, chapter five, verse uh, five. <clears throat> um, so Ananias, uh, which is about, uh, you know, giving um, and uh, keeping some for yourself. But say that's the verse that we're using to preach on today. Okay, so that's added in there. All right. And then um, this I've got it set for one o'clock. That's good. Um, okay, so the church location, I'll just give my church location there. Categories, um, I am not going to worry about at this point. Um, yeah, I don't need a category in there. So now I'm going to hit save and next. And then it knows you go into your next thing. It's going to be a live event. If I'm going to put additional content, uh, this it, uh, is a uh, message about being a good steward. Okay, great. So I've got that in there. That is the additional content description wise. So if I go in here, I hit save and next. And then here, I have to make sure, again, if I wanted to go to my sermon archives and I want it to be published there, I hit publish. And then I'm checking my channels here. Again, it's defaulting to go to the, um, the pushes that I have set up here. I have a couple of Facebook pages, so I wanna choose which Facebook page I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna go to my church. Um, it is set up for the site group, which is correct. And then I want to set to publish. Again, you have to be in publish or else it will not stream out. It will only go to, if it's in draft, it will stay in draft and it will not stream. So you have to be in publish. Hit save and done. So now I've got this financial awareness being a good steward. What this does is when we talked about embed codes and the information that would be showing up on your embed codes, uh, that's going to be on your website. When you go to your live player, when I look at this sermon title, the speaker name um, and the countdown will show up um, and then the passage that we're using. So the passage that I picked there in Acts uh, and the message description area. So what I typed in, this is a message on being a good steward. Now that's what will show up in your embed. Um, I wanna go to the, uh, my main dashboard. So it should have kicked over to a countdown and it shows me on my dashboard. This is what is appearing to me. Here's the countdown, one hour and one minute, financial awareness being a good steward. Okay, so that's great. That tells me that I have published my, uh, my stream and it's getting ready to go in an hour. So that's a good indication there. Now, I wanna show you though, also where you can have links available. So under settings, again, streaming settings, you go down here and you will go into Appearance settings. Appearance settings gives you the ability to use this link right here to send out to folks. If you wanted to send out something where they can watch it on um, on a particular page, you could send out this streaming page URL right here. This is the one that is available to you automatically through your streaming subscription. It is through the Sermon Cloud. So that page is right here. And what it does is it very much like the church online platform, it gives you the ability to have your live player show up in here. So right now I have a rotator plane, but it's my countdown showing up in one hour as my stream is going to come up. And it gives the information, financial awareness being a good steward, it's going to be Thursday at one o'clock to two o'clock. The message would be uh, focusing on Acts 5, 2 through 5. And then this is the information description I put in there. This is a message about being a good steward. And that's also puts it down here. So this gives you the ability to send this out to folks. Say you um, you could you know obviously send them to your uh, church website and on the church website, they can go to your live page and they can um, see information just like this. But if you wanted to send out a link, this is a link that you could send out to folks and say, hey, just watch us on this page. What it again gives you the ability to do is it gives you the ability to have prayer built in to your um, into this uh, window. So if somebody wanted to submit a prayer request, they could hit share prayer 
and they could just put their information in here and what information they share with the church. And then if they want to subscribe and then they hit submit. Now, it won't publish automatically because what it does is it um, it gives you the opportunity to moderate what goes in here. Because sometimes uh, people, when they share a prayer, may share too much information or may share some personal information that is better kept private um, or if there's maybe identifiable information. So um, it gives you the opportunity in your account to moderate the prayers. Um, so you would go in here. And under prayers, you would have the ability to go in here and set up um, if there's a prayer in here, no prayers have been added yet, but then you could, they would show up here and you could uh, take care of them that way. So this page is a link directly to you, to your page um, that you could send out to other folks if you say you didn't want to use the embed code. This is available to you. Um, automatically, you just say, you know, do some setup on it and it's ready to go. So that is a link under streaming settings and you go to appearance again. There's media settings and then appearance settings. And there is, you're going to find the link right there. And that's what you can send out. You also can do customizable um, uh, options in there. So here, if, here, I've got enable a prayer in there. And then if I wanted a prayer introduction text, so uh please share your prayer here i do that and i hit save it's going to save that um and then say i didn't necessarily like the blue and the gold so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to say i'm going to change my colors a little bit and i'm going to do something a little funky so i'm going to go like a fuchsia and then i'm going to go with a like a lime green. Okay, so I hit save on that. And then when I go back in here and I refresh my page and you're gonna see this change quite a bit. There's the colors. <laughs> so they really stand out. Um, so under my prayer though, please share your prayer request here. So. That is what I just put in there. That was what was on the page down here. And you do also have also on this page that you send out as a link with, you do have the ability to embed a chat fun function. So we do not have chat built in. Um, we use the third party or as so you'd have to use a third party. So like chat roll or some other function like that. And you can put an embed code in here for that. We are working, our dev team is working very hard to develop our own chat. And that is uh, that is coming, but it is not available yet. So um, you can subscribe to uh, a, a third party chat uh, company and you can put the chat embed code in here. And then that would show up also on here if you wanted to have people who could chat back and forth um, as well as share prayers. So that is a link that you can use in addition to what you have on your embed codes. So you have your embed settings here. Again and where you can choose the code that you need for your live or your archive. And then you have the link that is available on your page navigation as a streaming page URL. And you just grab that right there. And then if you send that out to folks just like this, it'll show up and it'll go to the very next event that you've got scheduled. Um, if you don't have an event scheduled, it'll just play what's in the rotator, but it does not show anything here. But if you've got an event scheduled, it'll count down to that very next event. And then once that event plays, then it'll go to the very next event after that. So um, I hope this has been helpful for you to kind of give you a quick run through of embed codes and links that you can use. Again, you can find under appearance, the streaming page URL, under embed settings, you would find the app embed URLs, and then you can find the embed codes here that you'd use. So I appreciate you joining us this morning. Um, I, I know your time is valuable. So the time, the fact that you spent time here is, uh, is great. And um, if you have any questions at all or need help, please feel free. If you go to your main dashboard page right here and you go up here to the top right, support info and system status under that page, you're gonna find 
right here, you can see church streaming status. So this will give you the status of different features and functions that are happening on our, on our uh, service. If you had billing questions, if you need help with support, you click this right here, it's gonna open up a support form that you can fill out. And that support form that goes right to our support team, they'll be happy to help you out with whatever you have, uh, if you have questions or you need help with something. Um, so if you have further questions, please, you know, fill that out um, and they'll be, they'll get back, back with you. So take advantage of that, use the, that button, use the form, contact support, and, you know, they can work with you on resolving any issues you might have or answer questions that you may have.